a Danny Jacobs type type fighter. Okay. You know, like that. That's that's what, what you have. All in right, the future. great job by these two. And you get to see these two young puggers early. All right, so we got we got to schedule twelve bouts this evening, and uh, next bout is going to be one hundred and fourteen pounds, and then novice also. And we got twelve schedules, so that was number one of twelve. So we got eleven more bouts to go, and you're very fortunate to come on and watch. And I understand that on YouTube there seems to be some technical difficulties. Not on our end, I know that, but on the uh, I guess on the streaming end, I'm not sure. All right, if you're watching us on YouTube, give us a shout out. We'll give you a shout out back as well. All right, um, Robbie Rob, Ro Robbie Rob wants to know: Is that Bill Butterworth filming? Yes, it is. Yes, Robbie. A legendary. Rob. Bill Butterworth is here doing his thing. Anna Cologne, like to say hello. He said he thought that uh, Cuevas won. Robbie Rob yeah. did. Yeah, I thought I thought as well. I, th I thought the same thing. All right, I think we're back up on YouTube. I th I'm I think, not sure. I don't know. If, oh. if, if you're out there on YouTube, definitely let us know. Don't touch that. Right, don't touch it. This is the camera. Don't, don't touch it. All right. All right, we're having we're having difficulties on YouTube, but if you're hearing us on YouTube, just come on to uh, come on to uh, Facebook if you got Facebook. All right. All right. Freddie Mal now said the shorter kid has to get on the inside. You can't expect the shorter kid to stay on the outside. Well, Freddie, uh, you can. You can. Basically. That's that's not the way it is anymore. If you take a look at Canelo, Canelo fights on the outside and the inside, and so does uh, so does Javante Davis, who's shorter than everybody. All right, let's go to the second bout of the evening. That's Jonathan Ayala in the red corner, and uh, you see him at the bottom of your screen. And then in the blue corner, you got Sam. And how do you say that name? Twaidi. Twaidi from Gleason's. And now Jonathan Ayala is from Keystone, round number one. And Sam Twaidi is in blue. And, and right away, Sam, and it looks like Jonathan holding on, just looks like you put him that. in a headlock. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it looked like. And Jonathan looks like he's been doing some sparring because his his eyes, uh, he's got he's got an eye jammy. He's coming in the ring with an eye jammy. Oh, and, and a big that. one, two. One, two, three by Jonathan. Yep. He finished it with the hook. He's fighting out of Keystone. And now the answer by Sam Tyweedy putting him on the corner. Right. They're both on the corner going, wait, look at Sam go. Look at that. Sam putting, to, just, I mean, shoe shine. I counted 43 punches in that exchange. <laughs> and I was only counting one fighter. The other guy threw at least 34. What, what's going on here? I think the headgear is uh, loose. Yeah. Yep, the headgear. Not by punches either. They just were moving so fast that they, they walked into a time zone or something like that. <laughs> Look at this. Very interesting. Now, this is what I'm talking about. A, a, a shorter fighter who could stay on the outside. You have Jonathan Ayala who's staying on the outside. His weight's in his back foot. He's the shorter fighter. And he's very comfortable out there. He's, try, he's trying Good movement to catch too, somebody. Man. Yeah. You can see he's usually used to catching somebody in. But San Toyidi in the blue is very, very fast. So it's... And... He does that unorthodox novice thing where he comes running in behind a flurry of punches, which is a little bit weird, to say the least, but definitely something to, to deal. Uh, Y'all are trying to time him. Right? And there's the charge, the Tawahidi charge, <laughs> the blitzkrieg. <laughs> Basically, he looks like somebody trying to sack the quarterback. And getting warning from the referee to keep his head up is Jonathan Ayala. Right. San Tawahidi now standing standing back a little. Right. It looks like uh, Jonathan Ayala is trying to time him to come in, but now he's putting the pressure on, right. and so is San Tawahidi coming in. Right. Oh, these guys are very fast, Dave. Right. And, I, and I'm looking at Jonathan, and I'm trying to figure out what he's doing as he's trying to figure out what he's doing. So Jonathan, Jonathan Ayala has... He has that right idea that he wants to stay on the outside because he doesn't want to be in punch and range. But then when he comes in, he comes in too far. So that's part of learning how to box. And that's what I was talking about with the shorter fighters. 
The shorter fighters don't necessarily have to come in on the inside all the time, but they have to get on the inside to punch. They have to, they have to pass the long arms of, of the taller fighter. So it's, it's, it, is, it is pretty interesting. And uh, Clay, Clay ATM is watching. All right. What's See the up, head gear being adjusted here for Jonathan Ayala. Okay. So In the corner. Remember, we are streaming live on Pub Life Chronicles. Go to Facebook at Pub Life Chronicles and watch the stream for free. Let them know I'm home. And Dwayne Johnson says that Jonathan must have ducked at least five punches. Brian Driscoll, welcome to the uh, feed this evening on Pug Life Chronicles. Round number two right. by Jonathan Ayala in the red and Sam Twaiti yeah, in so, the blue. Right. So Sam Twaiti is, is, is relying on his speed, and he's very fast, and he's not quite using his height well. He should sneak in a little bit more with his feet and uh, get, get in punching punch range. Meanwhile, Jonathan, Jonathan uh, Ayala. Ayala is... Kind of on the outside and not knowing what to do. He's almost frozen. It's, it's funny because he, he looks like he's trying to set something up for Jonathan, I mean for uh, Sam to come in. But then but then uh, once in a while he just, he goes in. Um, right. And right there he didn't, he, yeah. didn't he's, he, he was trying to set up Jonathan, but I'm sorry, Sam. Sam came charging in, but Jonathan right. didn't, didn't follow up with well, him. Well, you, you know what it is? Sam doesn't come in like a boxer. Sam comes in like a football player. And it. And with a lot of punches. And there you go. And there we go. And Sam's on the warpath again. He's letting his hands fly. Working the body is Sam. Getting Sam pushing. Yeah. Jonathan to the corner. Right. Now now Jonathan trying to come back. His own shoe shine. Right. With a big left. Right. And he, he's just having trouble reaching him. Right. It's yeah. just that. that and that's really because of his footwork. He's leaving his back foot back when he comes in. His back foot has to come in more, otherwise he won't be able to reach. Nice exchange there by, by both fighters. Got a couple shots right. in. And if you see it, George, it, like every time Jonathan comes in with this jab, he leaves his, uh, his rear foot back, and you're not going to come in. That jab is, is there to uh, get, your, get your back foot in, in range so that the next time you punch, you can reach. And that's why he keeps missing with that big left hand. All right. And, well, I got to give that to Sam Twaiti. I think I think Sam just threw a lot more punches and hit a lot more. He had that blitzkrieg offense going on, and uh, <laughs> you know that's how you know he, he he was too small to play football. He came so, into boxing. So he came into boxing and brought a little bit of that swag with him. All right, so we're back. Live, we were in Vieques last month. This yes. month, we're here. And tune in. Remember, next month starts the Ringmasters tournament, and you're going to see uh, us covering the whole tournament from February all the way to April. And it's going to end at Madison Square Garden. You want to make sure you get your tickets for that uh, and be at Madison Square Garden. That's going to be a big event. Yeah, how big? Oh, there's going to be a lot of thousands of people. Thousands of people. All last right. last uh, year, it, it was a good turnout. This year, we're expecting even a better turnout. All right. All right, round number three. Not much punch thrown, being thrown here. Ayala, again, trying to reach, but not really connecting. And that's because, you, like what you just said, Dave, I saw it. So what you said, he's leaving his back foot in there. Right. Not moving forward. He did that right. time. He was able to connect. Yeah. He See, if, if you're going you're to coast up your way in, especially if you're shorter, your rear foot has to come with you. You cannot leave your rear foot out there. And what happens is you don't reach because you're just, your back foot is holding Oh, and a big back. shot by Sam right. Twaiti. Jonathan also got in the hook with that. And now tangled up in the ropes, right. the two gentlemen and, are. And, and the problem with Jonathan is that he's on the inside, but he, he just doesn't have his feet quite under him on the inside. And, and he's getting sucked into uh, this, this And a nice combination by Sam. Yeah, right hand, left hook. Look at Sam. Sam tried to take off Jonathan's head. He missed and cooled off the first roll with that with the wind. <laughs> <All right. laughs> oh, in a slip. 
Ah, uh, that was more of a pull down. That was a takedown right there. Very interesting. Thanks again, Puerto Rico also joining us here on the live feed on Facebook. We want to welcome you. All right, the last couple of seconds before the end of the round, round number three. And again, Jonathan trying to reach, missing, not moving forward, and Sam just staying out of the range of those punches. Sam now comes back with a nice a short short uh, hook, right hook. Not really a lot of damage there, but he did connect. All right. And Jonathan just doesn't know how to get inside. Again, missing, and not moving it. that back and, leg like you and, said, Dave. Right. And, and on the inside, too, Jonathan's feet are not under him. All right? So he's... He's kind of floundering around. If, if you take a look, if you, if you want to take a look at this fight, right, you got, you got Sam. Sam is doing what he's supposed to do. He's throwing punches. He's a novice. Uh, he's kind of running in there. He's coming head first. But he's trying to win a fight, which, which is good. Jonathan Ayala, who seems to be a little bit more skilled and, and has, has an idea of what he's doing, just doesn't have his footwork on him. He, he, he doesn't have his footwork on him. Right. You have to have your feet. So in other words, if you're coming forward, you can't be coming forward with your punch and your head and leave your feet behind. You cannot do that. Right. right? If a person's coming in and he, and he, and he hits you uh, with his forehead and, and, and he's hitting with your elbows and you come in, you, you got to get yourself into a position where not just your head is moving, but your feet are firmly planted under you where you, you can move to the side, where you can get your hands going. And the problem is, is that Jonathan's head, his, the top part of his body and the bottom part of his body do not move in sync. Right. They, don't, they don't move together. Uh, you can say the same for Sam, because Sam, Sam comes flying in like a football player. Like he dives into it, like he's diving into a pool. But he's got his hands going. Uh, he's scoring some punches. His hands are faster than his dive, and, and he gets in a couple of punches. So. He definitely won that. All right, let's go with to the ring. All right. And there you go. And Sam yeah. takes it off, representing Lisa's gym, and he takes the win this evening. Right. Good sportsmanship by both these young men. Now, this is, this is just the, uh, the warm-up before we go into the Ringmasters tournament that's coming up next month. Uh... So there's a couple of fighters here this evening that you're going to see in the tournament, and you're seeing them here this evening. So, um, all right, so let's, let's give some shout-outs to some of the people out here. Okay, who are they? All right, um, let's see. Wow. Lots happened on Facebook since. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> since, 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 since we, we got <laughs> kicked off of YouTube. What the, yeah. what the hell is going right. on there? Anna Cologne Flores. All right. She's there to, uh, she says, go Justin. She's there to uh, stand behind Justin. Okay. Uh, Emmanuel Jose Torres, uh, Bettina Gil Negron, Kenya Bolden, thank you, Kenya. Hey, Kenya. Uh, Felix Falcone, thank you for joining us. Uh, Anna Colon Flores, Puerto Rico in the house. Emmanuel Jose Torres, okay. Let's see who else we got here. Jeremy Nieves, 